I will find out who did this to you. Maybe it'd be better if we base Kaksa overseas, like Bangkok. He knows. He's throwing financial muscle behind your brother's startup. What are you suggesting? An alliance to advance both our interests in the company and to bring your brother down. Who is she? She's just someone I see around Dad's office. Robert Gay was having an affair with Cassandra Dan. What happened to Leonard, huh? One of his friends called. Do you want to hear upstairs first? Maybe just call me. Ma! You don't get to call me. Only family gets to call me that. And I know for a fact that's not what you are. So, how should I address you? You didn't call me Chris. I pretended to be Chris. Sounds like maybe a good idea for you to continue to be him. Everything we can find online matches with what we have. This is crazy. You're really gonna impersonate him? Why not? We could make millions. We could also get caught. His family's gonna know it's not you. Chris said he hasn't seen them in nearly 15 years. And looks changed. He doesn't even look the way he was before he disappeared. See? And besides, these journals, they tell us all we need to know about his life before. It doesn't explain why his IDs and his bank statements are under the name Dominic Yang. That could get you into trouble. Not if you're there to back me up. Uh, uh, who are you? Uh, my, my name is Christopher Paul. Yeah. <laughs> You'll need to study, memorize everything about his life. His journals only go up to about a month or so before he disappeared. Nothing we can do about that. You have to fake amnesia. Anything you can't answer, just blame it on that. In the meanwhile, I'll research your family and friends. See if I can fill in any gaps. They want to do a DNA test. They usually take a cheek swap, so you need to do what you do best and lie. Get them to take hair instead. We'll find a way to swap your hair with his. Even after all this, I'm still not sure we'll pull it off. We only have to stay as long as we need to. It can be done, Mia. Nothing's gonna get in our way. Desa Mate Harum, Kampung Kecil. Agak mana? Mm. Kamu ditemui oleh bapak aku. Kamu terluka parah dan dalam keadaan koma. Dokter udah coba membawa kamu ke rumah sakit terdekat. Mm. Tiga jam dari sini. Nah, tapi sekarang lagi ada badai dan perjalanan lagi kebanjiran. Nah, sekarang kami yang merawat kamu. Terima kasih. Tanyaan kamu sudah jawab. Sekarang, giliran kita yang nanya. Uh, itu Arif, polisi kampung ini. Oh, uh, jangan khawatir. Dia orangnya baik kok. Siapa kamu? Sejauh ini. Saya Christopher Yeh dari Singapura. I've been missing for 15 years. Arif, <coughs> <coughs> dia masih belum kuat. Dulu, dulu. Dikit lagi. How you end up like this? I had an accident on a boat. Alone? Yeah. Terus, luka di kepala, gimana ceritanya? I, I, I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> cukup, cukup. Dia perlu istirahat. Hmm?
Jangan khawatir pak. Selama anda berbicara sejujurnya, kita bisa bantu mulangkan anda kembali. So, when did we decide to base Kaks overseas? Chris, your dad just got taken by the police. Don't you have better things to worry about? Tax expensive lawyers can do more than I can for him. So again, what's this about? Hey, is this about Spencer too? It's going to catch up with me, Chris. Sooner or later. Well, you could have at least given me a warning first. What difference would it have made? For one, I would have asked Sammy to move in with me. Congrats. Why don't you move with me and Nora? You can build that life together there. I'm not sure if Sammy would want to. Have you asked her? Have you asked Nora? They just came and took him away, and I don't know what to do because. It's okay. Calm down. All right. They just took him. It's gonna be okay. Hey, Uncle, Uncle here, yeah, he's, he's got the best lawyers. All right? Leonard. Hey. Me? What happened? Where's Ma? Ma collapsed on the way here. And uh, uh, the doctors took her for some tests, but they said that she'll be out soon. I should have been there. I, I, sh I, I should have been there. I should have... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I should have left. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. I, I was supposed to bring her here today. Breathe. 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 I can't believe we're having ice cream in such cold, rainy weather. I mean, it only rained after we got the ice cream. And I wanted to thank you for tutoring me, remember? Yeah, but it's still weird, right? Chris and I had ice cream in the winter last year when Mom and Dad brought us to New York. What? New York? How was it? It was awesome! You should ask your parents to bring you there next time. Ever since Pa passed away, Ma has been working day and night, non-stop. It's been really hard on her. I don't think we'll be going to New York anytime soon. I'm sorry, Len. Really. It's okay. If you need someone to cheer you up, I'm always here, okay? And I'll buy your favourite ice cream. Robert, I don't know how you got out of it, but I'll get make sure you don't get away with here, this. You Robert, I'm telling you this, I'll make sure Steven. you don't get away with this. Steven! How can you let him go? Because he didn't do it. What he told you is it? Because at the estimated time of Carpenter's death, he was at an event in one of his developments. Steven corroborated it. He only left half an hour later. He could not have done it. Hey, you don't have to stay, you know. I'm not staking my claim or anything. It's just that it could be a really long no, time. No, no, no. Auntie's always been very nice to me. I want to stay for her. Okay. And if you were wondering why Leonard and I were together, I just Jasmine. want to reassure you that nothing is going on. Jasmine, I'm just mm -hmm. glad that he wasn't alone when he got the news. Are you Madame Pei's family? Yes, I'm her son. Your mother's had a stroke, and there's clottage causing further complications. We need to go in and surgically remove it. Then do it. But it's in a sensitive area of the brain. 
which causes the procedure to be riskier than usual. And if we don't do it? Then it's just a matter of time before... I'll leave you to talk this through. We threaten to sue SGNN unless they take down the article and fire the reporter. They agree. Good. But they're Devon, stubborn. If we had gotten rid of him properly, we wouldn't be having this conversation now. We won't fear Touch again. Touch him now, and we just be asking for it. Just leave him alone. And your son? Earlier he said that he's going to stay. And Riza wanted to base the operations overseas. We should point out that it's in all our best interest for him to disappear. I made a few calls. The editors who didn't hang up on me told me not to bother. I'll be very lucky to get a job as a reporter anywhere around here. Listen. Robert Yeh is up to something, and we need to get to the bottom of it. No. What do you mean by no? No, Devin. What are you talking about? What about Justice and what about Cassandra Gunn? Cassandra Gunn is dead. We should have just let her rest in peace. When I started chasing this story, I thought I was chasing the biggest story of my career. Instead, it ruined my life. I'm sorry, Devin, but really, no. You're on your own. Sounds just like how I feel. What have you got? So, I've started auditing the company records over the past 20 years. Wait, I thought we were only looking into where my dad's getting the funding for Chris's startup. Yes, but once you start going down this rabbit hole, let's just say there's been lots of discrepancies. Having second thoughts? Because if you are, with what's going on between you and your father right now, I don't blame you. As long as you don't try and stop me. I won't. And I'm not letting Chris get his claws into the company. But a friend needs me right now. Hey, remember when I asked you what you thought about migrating? Yeah, young your friend was thinking of migrating too. Yeah, actually, it's been suggested to me that it would be a good idea to base Kaksa overseas. Okay, but the last time we spoke, you were ready to throw the towel in. Sign it over to Chris. There's been some new developments. We got the money. <laughs> oh, and they want you to move overseas? Well, not exactly. Ben? But Moving overseas means less overheads, a more accessible market. At the cost of uprooting your whole family from all they've ever known. But we can bring Anna up somewhere less stressful, expose her to a different culture, a different way of life. And then school, like how Come on, she's years away. And there's good international schools if you're worrying. Nanti kita sorang sorang, no support system, no friends, no family to count on. We can count on ourselves. Yeah, and this might be the only way to keep easy. this family together. What? What are you saying? Nothing. Riza? Riz! No. <sighs> Feels like I've been packing forever. Now I'm wondering if I've attached myself to a hoarder. Too bad. 
you're stuck with me. Hmm. I think the question is, do you want to be stuck with me? And why wouldn't I? Unless you have second thoughts. I don't. You might, once you find out that I snore. I already bought your plugs. I also don't like to do the dishes. That's fine. We can take out. I can't cook for nuts either. And what would you say to making a home in another country? <laughs> you serious? It's just something Riz and I have been toying with for our startup. It's just a thought. If I'm with you, then wherever we are, that's home. Monday. Oh, she went to Ramin to settle some paperwork. It's been five damn hours. It's brain surgery, Leonard. It's gonna take some time. Everything will be all right. All right. Ma's getting cupped up in there. That's not all right, all right? Sorry. Sorry. Leonard. Jazz messaged me. I'm so sorry, yeah. man. We're here for you, okay? Thanks, Riz. Really. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I am really scared, but I'm glad you guys are here. Lena, careful. Wanna go for a walk? Okay. Get started and leave the worst for them to win the dishes. Chris? Oi, Chris. A little help here. Leave me alone. Ko has been acting weird lately. He's been snapping at people left, right and centre. You must have not gone away with her then. Her? Who her? Some girl your brother has a crush on. He was meant to get her gift and confess to her, but I guess he got rejected. <laughs> I'll never let him live this down. Jasmine, what do you think will happen if... So what? You want to ask Sammy out? Sammy? Oh, no. is it your lead teacher, Miss Kwan? My lead teacher? I've seen you look at no. her, the eyes you Jasmine, yeah. Do you want to go stay with me? So... Um... How? Are we supposed to kiss now? Um... I think so. Sounds like gore. You should not be here. I know. But like you said, we need to keep up the pretense until we find out more. What's going on? Everything okay? Chris. I'm just here as a friend. I appreciate that, but I think you should go. Man, come on, I just... I wait. really think you should go. Is something wrong? 
Leonard's just worried that the publicity around Gore's return might be a distraction. He might attract reporters, a crowd. Yeah. Yeah, she's right. I, I should have thought that. I'm gonna go. I'll come with you. No. No. Stay. Uh, Lena needs you. Take care, Lena. I mean it. Mr. Go, I'm very, very sorry. We did everything that we could, but unfortunately, we let him pay his pot from. Nisa, mundur. What's going on? You say you are Christopher Ye, son of Robert Ye. Yes, that's me. Terus, ini siapa dong? What the hell? No, no, what the hell? That's impossible. His own family says it's him. And they did a D and no, a no. test. I don't know how he did it. But he is not me. Okay, I am me. You just let me go. Take my DNA test. It. What for? We already find your records. You are Dominic Yang Chen Lo, the son of an expat from Singapore. But one problem: Dominic Yang died in 2003 from a car accident. Look, this guy John. He. He's a con man. He's a thief. He's lying. You have the identity of a dead person. You say you are the son of a rich and powerful man. I think maybe you are the one lying. Nisa, kantor saya masih kebanjiran. Saya sudah radio ayah kamu mengenai situasi sekarang, dan ayah kamu kasih izin untuk dia ditahan dulu di sini sementara waktu sampai kendaraan bisa lewat dan bawa dia. He's not. Akan ada petugas saya yang sini jagain dia. Please, just trust. Kamu nggak apa-apa? Oh. Oh, He's been like that since. Oh, you with that? He's either staring off into space or running around at 100 miles an hour. Anything to keep his emotions inside. I can't imagine what he must feel. He's holding so much in. I'm worried that it'll get too much. I have to go to the Colibarium later to settle the niche. And the Undertaker is coming to discuss the week. I'll keep an eye on him. He'll be in good hands. Uh, why is this so damn hard? How the tables have turned. I never thought I'd see the day Leonard go would need tutoring. 
Jasmine. God, I haven't seen you in a in a long time. Having problems with Dr. Johnson's statistics class? Yeah. I blame my mental rustiness on two years of NS. Well, you're in luck. I took his class last year and hmm, aced it. Buy me lunch and I'll teach you. Remember when they introduced the R21 rating in 2004? And then we tried to sneak into the R21 movie. <laughs> and then that Klutz Reza somehow <laughs> got us trapped in the stairwell. <laughs> All that time? When I was late to meet you guys, and then you thought that I was in the Nicoll Highway okay. collapse. Okay, to be fair, your bus literally goes through Nicoll Highway, and we were supposed to meet around that time. Come on, admit it. You were concerned about me. We all were. Yeah, but you were the only one who was running up to me and hugging me when you saw me. I miss you, Jess, so much. I want us to be together, like we were supposed to be. Let's stop! Stop it! It was all in the past. Maybe it should stay that way. Always be friends, right? Of course, friends. Um, we should go. Do you want to go stay with me? Leonard, I lie. I want to be with you too. Authentication codes for personal accounts I've created for us. Once I put in the initial deposit into Cox's account, you can start funneling the money over. Here's yours, that's mine. Okay. I need something more. Foreign IDs and untraceable bank accounts for Sammy and I. I thought you were staying. No, you were right. It's safer to leave. And what? You're gonna try the whole lead a normal life thing? A nine to five job. Marriage? 2.3 kids? It sounds better than the life we had. You could have that too, you know. You could join us. No thanks. There's no normal for people like me. Or you. Yeah. I mean, you have to tell Sammy the truth at some point. And then what? How do you think she's going to react when she finds out who you really are? I don't know. But if there's a chance for me to be happy, I'm willing to take it. Whatever. Just let me show you the rest of the paper lock. Drink this, and then try and get some rest. Len? No, I, I can't. I need to talk to the undertaker. Wait, Len, I need to find a photo stop. for Ma for the funeral. Stop! Risa and I already picked out a couple of photos of Auntie, and he's with Mr. Ang at the funeral home now. He's getting everything sorted out. No, but you relatives... You don't they... have to be responsible for everything every time, Leonard. We're your friends. Let us help you. Okay? Ma always wanted to go to Taiwan. Kept asking me to bring her. I 
thought I had more time. We're never really ready when things end. Like when things ended between us? Miss you, Jess. You can get about some. This is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. So, when are you getting married? <coughs> uh -huh. Ma! Wow, I'm just asking. <laughs> um, we haven't thought that far yet, Auntie. Why not? You two parked up for three years already. Don't call me in a time when you were young. Give me a busy body, Ma. <laughs> so how? When? Hi, you are alone. Hi, Nana. Mm. Jasmina, mm? not that you need it, but when a stupid boy finally proposes, you have my blessing. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> Come, let's eat. Okay. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Leonard Go. Mrs. Jasmine Go, yeah? Okay, double barrel name. Not a good idea. May, where's your uh, TPS report? Your TPS report, where is it? I'll email it to you tomorrow. You told me today. Yeah, but um, I had dinner with Leonard and his mom tonight. Anyway, the filing deadline is on Friday. If the report was in today, I could send it to Chicago now. Saving us three days in negotiations. We'd have gotten a head start over our competitors. Today I woke up at 5 a.m. And I've been working since then until now. And I'll do this tomorrow and every day after that. Because that's what it takes to run this company. Dad. With your call gone, you are my successor. But I wonder, do you have what it takes? Do you want this? Boca says it's clear sky, so might be able to see a lot of stars. Leonard, I think we should break up. <clears throat> Excuse me? <laughs> you're, you're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. We're too different. Okay, well, where's this coming you from? You want a quiet life and something a happened? family. We can, we can talk about it. I want a career. We can make it work. No, we... We can't. I can't. Jazz. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You have to go to the funeral. I don't want to turn it into a media circus. But a lot of the fuss has died down since then. True, and thank God for that, but I'm still getting hounded by the reporters. And I'm still getting recognised on the street. Are you sure that's all there is to it? What else could it be? It's just... 
Leonard was relieved when Rizzo and I showed up. But he tensed up as soon as he saw you. You're just imagining things. Then what about your meeting the other day? Who did you meet? Seems like you already know the answer to that. Did you follow me or something? Something just seemed off, okay? First, you told me you barely knew her and now the two of you are meeting in secret. We met out in the open, in public. Then why lie about knowing her? I didn't. Oh yeah? Enlarge a photo. Focus in on the papers in your hand. Go on. Those are bank documents. She works in my dad's company. She's just trying to help us kickstart our finance for the startup. But you said you don't know her. I don't. I usually deal with this other lady, uh, Kelly, who just went on her maternity. And this, uh, what's her name, is just taking over. <laughs> That's convenient. Sammy. I know it's hard to trust anyone, especially after Shen. But this is me, Chris, your boyfriend. Look at me, you can trust me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right. Shen's made me paranoid. You sure you don't want to go for the funeral? Leonard could really use a friend. I think it's better that I stay out of this. Okay. If you change your mind, call me. Makan. Punya dia mana? Ini. Udah berapa lama ya kita kenalan? Kita bisa bareng kan di kampung ni, Rif? Aku heran. Sampai sekarang kau, kamu masih enggak mau percaya sama aku. Cuma main aman. Hmm. Hmm. Buat kamu, aku masak lebih. Gak lah, makasih. Yakin? Kesukaan kamu loh. Hmm? Ambil. Hmm. Tuh, lihat. Aman kan? Aku gak racunin kamu. Hmm, makan. What you do to him? I put medicine in his food. The one that Dr. Ratif gave you to sleep. Yeah. Look. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Oh, here. I put some of Bapak's old clothes and some food. You give me too much already. You need money to go home. So take it. Please. Will you get into trouble for this? It's okay. You won't scold me. Terima 
kasih untuk semuanya. Aku nggak tahu kamu siapa, Chris atau Dominic atau siapapun, tapi aku tahu cuma satu, bahwa kamu adalah orang yang baik. What's going on with you two? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, whatever. Hey Jess, can we talk? In private? I'll uh, go get some more peanuts for the guests. Do you know why Chris has been acting strange lately? Has he? I saw him in Leonard at the hospital. And now he refuses to come for the funeral. And do you know who she is? I've um, never seen her before in my life. He says she works at your office. Yeah, could be. It's a big office. Jess. Look, I really don't know who she is. But you know something. I can tell. You better talk to Chris. Jess, come I'm on. gonna go help this out. Jess! Koyo is lost. Oh. I'll go pick him up. Uh, I can go. No, no, hey. It's okay. I got it. Stay here. Okay. I just wanted to offer my condolences to my friend. My friend died 15 years ago in Pulau Ubin. But not him. Nonetheless, I just wanted to be here because I know what it feels like. My parents I died in a car accident when I was just six years old. The only thing that I had left of them was a teddy bear that they had given me for my birthday. It was the only thing that made me feel less lonely. So, I know what it's like, Lena. The pain, the numbness, the feeling that your world will never be the same ever again. I know I'm not your friend. And I know you hate me for pretending to be him. I just want you to know that you're not alone.